Well, good morning. Welcome to Kim's Kitchen. So glad that you're here today. Hey, I want to come to you with a budget time saver that I love to do on uh, pancake morning, I call it. And I'm going to talk to you about our DEGG and what that stands for is Deluxe Electric Grill and Griddle from Pampered Chef. Um, this is just a phenomenal appliance to have in the kitchen. When I first got it, I thought, gosh, Kim, you already have a griddle for the stovetop. Are you sure you need this? And as, oops, sorry, there was a break in the connection there for some reason. Um, but as I've used it, I have come to fall in love with the many things that I can do on it. So right now, I just want to show you that um, on the grill and griddle, it is comes and you can fold it together like this and store it away. Um, or you can, let me go back to doing that. You know this live video thing and how, there we go. And on the front, it's electric, so it's got your, um, it's got your controls. So I've turned the dial over to griddle. I'm gonna push start and it's going to start heating up. Now, I've already used it a little bit this morning, so it's a little bit hot, but while it's heating up, let me tell you some of the features that I love about this. First off, the griddle, because it's actually two griddles in one. So, when I make in what I'm gonna do today, this huge batch of pancakes, because I like to make ahead, freeze, and then use later, um, I have a lot of surface area and I can get it done in half the time. So I save a lot of time. Um, I also save money because if you buy pancake batter when it's on sale or pancake mix when it's on sale, you'll save money. Um, but I make my own homemade batter and so some of the ingredients that go in that, when you find those things on sale, you're gonna save money by making your own pancakes. But you're really gonna save money if you're one who buys frozen pancakes or frozen waffles. And um, this way you make your own, you can freeze them and then you can have them for later use. And we'll talk about that in just a minute while this is heating up. I'm going to share with you a couple of other plates. So it comes with two griddles, two griddle plates. So think too, also if you're cooking breakfast for a crowd and you wanna do pancakes on one side and you wanna have on the other side maybe do some sausage, some bacon, get that done. Um, then do some eggs. Gosh, you can fit two, four, six, eight eggs on here here really nicely. Um, if you have to do more than that, you can use both sides. It comes with a catcher, and that catcher over here, gosh, I know you can't see this part, but that catcher over here is to catch any of the grease, and it just slides in in the front. I've got my pancake batter already made, as you can see, nice and, um, nice and bubbly. And then um, it also comes with two what we call grill plates. And those grill plates are where you can interchange these out. And it's real easy. There's just a button to snap them out and then just put them back in. You can see this end is so that the grease will drip and that's where your drip tray is down in between. And so the grill, what are you gonna use that for? Oh my goodness, you guys, grilled cheese sandwiches, um, paninis. Where you really save a lot of money is make your own homemade paninis rather than go out for them. Um, I love paninis. Um, I don't love to go find them. They're not easily accessible anywhere, but when I've got lunch meat or something like that and I wanna make paninis or I wanna make grilled cheese sandwiches and have those beautiful grill marks on there. Of course, you can do the grilled cheese on the flat surface too. But where you're also gonna save money with this is let's say you go to the big box store and you find chicken on sale or, um, or even your local grocery store and you find chicken on sale and you really like say cooking chicken breasts up and you know having those sear marks and then cutting it up and saving it and portioning it out for later use. Well, here you can put your grill plates in and you can do um, that whole package of chicken at one time. So you save money by buying the bigger packages and you save time by getting it all grilled at one time and then portioning it out for later use. So you get all of that with the Deluxe Electric Grill and Griddle. Now, you can also get yourself some waffle plates and they come in a set of two, obviously. And so you can make your own homemade waffles. Um, I, we love waffles. I tend to make pancakes more often because I will tell you where you can save some money is you can save money in the fact that you don't use as much butter and syrup on a pancake as you do on a waffle, honestly, because all that stuff, you know, gets down in between the little humps in a waffle or the little divots in a waffle. Um, but that's just, that's just preference. Again, it's not always about saving 
tons of money. Sometimes it's about saving pennies at the store, especially butter and real maple syrup are kind of expensive. So if you can use a little bit less, that can be a great budget stretcher. Um, but as this is heating up, I again want to tell you that I absolutely have fallen in love with some of the recipes that come in the guide that come with your Deluxe Electric Grill and Griddle. And uh, one of the favorites of the family is, um, well, I haven't made this yet, but it looks really good, the spinach and artichoke pizza. You can do a flatbread on here, you guys. You make your dough, or you can even buy the pizza dough in the little rolls, or you can buy the pizza dough however you buy it. And you can um, roll that out and then put it on here and bake it and do a flatbread pizza. So yummy, yummy, yummy. Um, but again, one of the things that I've made and I love, and that is called French onion sliders. The family loves them. I've made them at home parties and they love them. They're a great party thing. Easy to make with the Hawaiian sweet rolls and grilled onions and roast beef and cheese and all those things that we love. Uh, but you get a uh, guide to give you some great recipes to get you started. Pancakes, waffles, um, it talks about cooking your proteins on here, your steaks, your meats. That's another thing you can do is those great grill marks for steaks and things. Um, and so you, you will have a great starter for your Deluxe Electric Grill and Griddle. So again, um, pancakes, we're almost heated up here. You're gonna hear a beep beep and that'll tell us how long, um, that'll tell us that it's come to full temperature. Um, but you can use custom, so you can have whatever custom heat setting you want and you set the heat on that. You've got sear, maybe you wanna sear things or um, maybe you want to um, sear like a steak or some meat or something like that. You've got panini setting and you've got the grill setting and then I'm using the griddle. And then you also have keep warm. So say you're making up those, did you hear that? Tells me my, uh, my plates are up to temperature. Um, say you've made something on here and you wanna just leave them on here like burgers and you know, maybe you're doing a little buffet line and you've made a bunch of burgers on there and you wanna keep warm. So you can just turn it on to keep warm and leave the burgers on there and then they can come along and make their burgers or take their burger off of it. But with the pancakes, so I have made pancake batter this morning and what I am doing is, I love this bowl. This is our uh, mixing bowl and it's, I think it has a better name than mixing bowl, but it's our blue and white mixing bowl because I can't think of the name of it. But it is great for making this big double batch of pancake batter that I did. And one of the things, one of the tricks that I learned about pancakes is that you want to leave your pancake batter just a little lumpy. Sometimes we tend to really want to whip it and get all of it smooth. But if you do that, you kind of whip down the baking powder, the leavening agents that make them kind of puff up. And there's something about having just a little bit of lumps in there that when they cook, they cook up beautifully. So I've got my pancake batter in here and I like third of a cup size. So I hope that you guys can see this. And I'm gonna put one on and I just, you guys all know how to make pancakes, but just I love the fact that I can get six pancakes on this griddle, excuse me, and I don't have to, you know, I save a lot of time in doing three pancakes on my stovetop griddle, if that makes sense. Oops, adding two more here. And then I'm gonna tell you what I do with these. First off, this, this morning I of course served Jack his pancakes for breakfast. And then what I do with these is um, I let them cool and I bring them to a cooling rack, as you can see. If you don't have the Pamper Chef cooling racks, you guys, these are divine. They are non-stick. They've got nice little squares so that things don't fall through. They've got um, legs so that they can stack up to three high. Great for when you've got a lot of things going on. Um, so I've already got a couple pancakes made and you see this little gray tool right here or this little gray thing right here? This is called a tortilla warmer. Now a tortilla warmer is great to what it says, warm tortillas. But one of my favorite things to do is to warm pancakes in the microwave inside of this or buns or tortillas or things like that, bready type of things. 
And what happens is it only takes 30 seconds in the microwave to heat them up and it doesn't get them tough and dried out like if you were just putting them in the microwave. And so they're wonderful and it's just really easy to store and put away. It's machine washable, but you're gonna want yourself a tortilla warmer. Okay, let's go ahead and see if our pancakes are ready to flip. And ooh, they are. Sometimes you can't talk through all of this. This one kind of, these ones kind of touched each other and kissed. And so voila, as you can see, I have a little bit. I have a gorgeous double burner griddle or deluxe electric grilling griddle with two griddles full of pancakes and these I'm going to have for later use. So thank you guys so much for joining me in this little video demonstration on it. And again, I hope that you guys are having a fabulous day. Um, make pancakes. Save money at home by buying the frozen ones or by going out to breakfast. You know, we know that um, the prices are rising everywhere. Going out to eat is nice. Don't get me wrong. I like to do it. But, you know, on a daily basis, we can't obviously um, afford that. So we save money by making our own and I save time by making it in batches and then storing it for later. So I will store some of these in the fridge for the next couple days and then I'll store some in the freezer for later use. So you guys have a beautiful day and may all of your cooking be pampered.